Today we're gonna have a bunch of hot takes. I'm gonna be diving into the Crunchyroll voting event. Now let's see what this anime community has to offer with their nominees for the best anime. So the nominees for Anime of the Air is 86, Attack on Titan Final Season, Jujutsu Kaisen, Odd Taxi Ranking of Kings and Sonny Boy. Blue period where Shadow's house, like I don't understand this shit, man. Like these guys have no taste, man. No taste. I'm honestly really surprised that Sonny Boy is here. Out of all of these, if I could choose like a best anime of the year out of all of these, I would 100% say 86. Yup, confirm, that's it, that's my pick. We're done. Next. Now, best boy. I don't really like boys, so this is pretty eh. But I would give the best boy award to my homie Izumi Miyamura. Because Horemiya is a good show, even though I dropped it at episode 1. Now, best girl award. We got the girl from 86. We got the fruit basket girl. We got Jujutsu Kaisen girl. We got Kakegi Shoujo girl. Kakegi Shoujo, really? And we got Komi-san can't communicate. And we got Wonder Egg Priority. Now, of course, we all know, we all waited this. If y'all is on like r slash any memes, or like browsing any like anime subreddits, you know who the best award goes to. It goes to Komi-san can't communicate. This is, this is one of the important awards we need to discuss i i was expecting komi-san to get nominated if she wouldn't what the fuck is anime community even doing man now next one best protagonist let's see ayoto who cares best antagonist echidna from re-zero echidona echidna satella he has something across those lines and she gets the best antagonist award from me man now, the best fight scene. I ain't that big a fan of fight scenes, but damn, Elma vs. Toro was fighting? That looked pretty cool. But, in my opinion, the Vivi fight scene. Everybody, watch Vivi. Vivi is great. I actually only dropped it at like episode 8. The best director goes to the one who made Wonder Egg priority um, before the last episodes. I mean, Wonder Egg Priority is pretty great. Let's just go with Wonder Egg Priority. Good job, Shin Wakabayashi. Very good. I gotta give the Best Animation Award to Vivi. Have you seen? Have you seen those beautiful eyes, man? That's not even animation. It's a still image, but it's a very good still image. Vivi, you get, get my pick. Best Character Design. Ooh. Hmm. I mean, what is this? Where is Shadow's House? Where is, like... Like... I'm trying to remember all these shows that I've seen, man. Holy shit, like, I don't, I don't remember anything. The character design in Pretty Boy Detective is pretty good, I think. I don't even remember, man. I've forgotten everything. Let's just go with Vivi, man. Vivi is, Vivi 10 out of 10. Who has the best score? Vivi has the best score. The score in Vivi, mwah. Very good score in Vivi. The best Japanese voice acting. I haven't, I'm a Russian dub watcher, but... I do appreciate me some Aoyuki. Pretty good. Pretty good. Not gonna lie. She's pretty good. At least the Russian version. She's pretty good in the Russian version. I I would think that she would be pretty good in the Japanese one as well. Okay, the best English voice acting performance. Now, here is what I want to say. Fena the Pirate Princess. I swear, this English voice acting made it sound like it's a Disney movie. Like, I swear to God, like, everything about this show made it feel like it's a Disney movie. I vote for the Disney movie. Best opening sequence goes to... Best ending sequence goes to Nine Eye by Shadows House. Finally! Finally, we, we get the good stuff. The lyrics to Shadows House, amazing as well. 10 out of 10. The best action? I don't know. Let's just go with, with, with Vivi here. Best comedy? Komi-san can't communicate. Drama? To your eternity. Romance? Horimiya, honestly. Horimiya has the best romance. Fantasy? Jobless Reincarnation is the best isekai ever that I dropped. Um, The best film that I haven't watched but I would rather watch. Actually, I've watched this. This is garbage. Please don't watch this. Watch Bell. Bell is 10 out of 10. It's by the guy who made Mirai and Wolf Children. 
I, I actually remembered it. Okay, let's go. Let's vote for Bell, guys. As you can see that his ideas go pretty hand in hand with all the furry shit, but yeah. And that was my nominees for this year. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Goodbye. See you next time.